Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a walk-in refrigerator. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on a water-cooled split system walk-in refrigerator. We got the gauges on this system. As you can see we have no refrigerant. The refrigerant has been recovered and today we're here to replace the expansion valve. Now inside the walk-in box is a single fan blower. As you can see, we have the sensing ball for our TXV out. I did determine that this valve is faulty, so we're going to be replacing it. So it looks like we have an external equalizer. And one thing I just noticed right now that I didn't realize last night, and this is probably why this whole thing is bad, it's a little dark in here, I gotta go grab my light, but I wanna take a picture for you guys. That whole pipe is kinked. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and try to match this up at the supply house. Got the compressor numbers, and I'm gonna take it with me so we just physically match it up. All right, so we got the old one out. Here's a new expansion valve. Look how ugly that looks. Look how they stepped that down too. All right, and if we look at here, get a little better light. Look how that bent right there. Might not see it, but I'm telling you, that thing is not good. That definitely played a role. I think it's flat. So let's go ahead and try to rebuild this nicely here. All right, this is it. Got the reducing fitting. Everything looks pretty good. The blue stuff is a heat absorption putty. Last thing you want to do is melt this. So I put some here and also in the back over there just so nothing melts on that U-bend while I'm brazing. So let's go ahead and get started. Could run some nitro through the opposite end. I got this port open so we can vent. This is the product that I'm using. It is hot block heat absorption putty made by solder weld. There's the filter dryer for our unit. That's gonna be a bit difficult to braze. We've got a bunch of those wires in the way. Let's see if we can clear that up a bit and replace it. Just gonna cut this one out the way. All right, got the old one out. There's an arrow. You wanna follow that direction. We're gonna sand down the outside of our pipes and inside of our fittings and get this thing inside. I was able to move the control panel and 
this control out the way a bit. So we have a bit more access. The bottom should be good. That one's gonna be a bit tough to get to. Here's the nitro tank, pressurizing the system. Let's go ahead and check for leaks. The solution I'm using is Cal Blue Plus micro gas leak detector. Just spray this side, looking good over here. All right, it's looking good over here. No leaks, we're gonna release the nitro, drop this thing in a vacuum. Hey, hey how you doing? Look who came to work today. Who is this? What are you doing here? Drinking liquor? You came to work. <laughs> Alright, we're officially in the vacuum. It's only been a few minutes. Look, we're already below a thousand microns. That's awesome. So, let's go ahead and give this thing a chance. Let it vacuum. We're probably gonna go out to lunch. Let this thing be. And hopefully we got a nice reading but considering we're already at 961 and it's only been like 10 minutes or so, I'd say that's a great sign. So let's let this thing vacuum out and hopefully this machine's gonna work. All right, that's looking pretty good. 651 and dropping. Let's go ahead and put back together everything at the indoor unit. All right, there it is. We're all wrapped up to go. Also tighten down the suction line bulb over there the filler bulb we just gotta insulate it i got my tank purge let's zero out the system we're using 404a and let's let's see what she takes split system just wondering it says it doesn't say any ounces or anything, but it says max, I mean, it says 30 and then max 35 next to refrigerant. So I'm wondering if that's ounces. Let's see what she takes. Luckily, there is a sight glass in this system. All right, got a pretty high back pressure, but the box is like almost 80 degrees. So let's give this thing a chance and let's see what happens. I got 36 ounces in there. It said 35 minimum and then 30 and then 40 max so i'm assuming that's ounces of refrigerant it's not that long of a run all right guys that's looking a lot better we got a 41 degree suction line 9.1 degree superheat not bad we got 36 ounces in here set between 35 and 40. okay now right, we're at 43 degrees we're almost there all right it says 42.3 our sensors over there we're almost there all right everyone we're gonna wrap this one up here system is almost where it needs to be we got good pressures we got good temperatures before Previously, that expansion valve, the, the back pressure, was stuck at about 10 PSI, and this thing was frozen, frozen, frozen. So the expansion valve, new filter dryer, new refrigerant, that's what's up. That's, that's the way to go. That's what cleared up our issue. 
We're just gonna wait for this box to satisfy to make sure the thermostat's operating and wrap it up. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.